I don't know if you can see it or not. It's 100 degrees in here inside the wood dryer. I don't have any of the baffling put in like I was saying earlier. don't have any of the covers yet for the wheels, so air is able to come through freely. The ends are still open. Obviously you can see light through the walls there, so I just see in uh, what the temperature would get inside. Obviously I knew it was going to get warm, but uh, get this thing sealed up and get the baffle put in and the fan in and get some real heat into the wood stack for drying. But I did want to just show you that it was just over 100 degrees here. Just coming out to check how the uh, rain is coming off the shed. It's not raining really hard right now, but I did want to kind of check things. Just to make sure I didn't have any leaks. It just started raining, so I doubt I'm going to see anything yet. Last time it rained like this, I didn't have my roof yet, so everything got good and soaked. Got my drip edge there on the upper end of the roof. I just have to get one more piece of metal right there. And it does look like it's dripping off nicely. Interesting how you can see where the ribs are. Conducts uh, the temperature a little bit differently by not letting it be so quick to change the temperature. And we do have a good thunder boomer, so probably standing next to a metal building isn't the best idea. Especially with power lines over here. So we'll get smart and get out of the rain storm. So I'll explain to you how the process is going to work here. I've got my LT10 wood miser. I've got the logs on my short sawhorses. That's about a ton, a little, maybe a ton and a half of maple right there. And they're ready to roll on. Then I've built my wood solar kiln. 
and we're coming inside the door here. So after it's cut from a log into lumber, there will be stickers on the floor that go from the right to the left. You'll set your planks on top of the stickers close to each other side by side. You'll put a set of stickers on top of that row and keep going up and up and up and up and up and up until you run out of wood to put in here. And then you see where the fan is there. Just this side of the fan, the right side of the fan, there will be a plastic sheet hanging down. And that plastic sheet will have a 2 by 2 or something rolled up in it. It will be set on top of the stack forcing the air that comes down from the fan to go into the stack where all the stickers are. The stickers, like I say, hold the wood apart. The air will go through the logs and then it's forced back down to the floor where it will go up the wall to my drafting board that brings it up to the ceiling and there's plexiglass, clear plexiglass there that the sun is uh, coming down onto the cardboard here creating heat. There will be a thermostat turning the fans on and off so when the sun is out instead of like today where it's a cloudy rainy day out as you can see but uh, when the fans turn on it will be bringing in heat down the side of the plastic like I said going through the stack through the stickers taking in fresh air through taking the humidity out of the wood and circling around again now to get the humidity out I left the wheel wells in, even though I'm going to take the tires off of this trailer, it's a double axle trailer by the way, I'll have that tilt open a percentage to let fresh air in, which will then go up the wall, up the uh, drafting board, and then across the ceiling heating up, only when the fan is on though, dropping down on this side of the plastic, where I have another wheel well that will be open the same percentage letting out the hot air and humidity. Now obviously if you have 60 percent humidity inside and 80 percent outside that isn't going to work too well but the plan is is to be able to open these wheel wells. I'll, have, I'll put a piano hinge on both of them where they can be opened just by uh, I'll put a, a rod down there so I can control how wide it will open. So that's how the uh, solar kennel is going to be working. I'm just testing it today. Um, it's like I say, rainy out. and I wanted to see what the fan would do. Uh, obviously I'm not tight. But uh, I am getting good uh, temperature differential. I've got a lot more sealing to do. I've got a lot more uh, insulated cardboard to uh, put in. You see that's uh, fairly thick and has a, a layer of air so that should insulate. Yeah, we're out here at the solar kiln. I thought I'd get my temperature humidity stick out. And looks like it's 41.4 uh, humidity and 77.1 degrees outside here. I don't know if you can see that. I'll go inside here. I've had the fans on uh, since last night. Just uh, I threw some wood in here that was uh, the scraps. Oh boy, it's hot in here. Well, here we are inside the solar kiln. I've got both fans running. It's a hot day today. I wanted to see what the temperature might be since today was going to be a hot day so I just took a bunch of scrap wood that I'm going to cut up for firewood put inside here and you can see the stickers running uh, right to left there that's uh, how the basic stack will set obviously this is just a bunch of junk it doesn't fit together tight uh, like uh, 
the center of your uh, log would be squared off. I don't have the plastic sheet in here. Uh, I just threw it in just because I knew it was going to be hot today and I did want to see what the temperature would end up being today. Now I'm sweating in here. I'll show you what my temperature gauge says. Uh, I'm 50% humidity, jumping between 49 and 50 and 96 Point four degrees. It's uh, 76 degrees outside, uh, and uh, you know have clouds and sun all day today. I don't have everything sealed up. Uh, I've got big gaps here and there, but the general idea is is that it is drawing what air it can up the wall across the drafting board over the. Uh, top where the sun's catching it, the fans are blowing down the heat, so I'm not overheating at the top. And uh, definitely is hot in here today. You don't really realize how hot it is inside until you step outside and watch the temperature gauge go down. I'm 31% humidity out here, it was 50% inside. Obviously, I had a bunch of wet. Uh, wood that's been sitting out here in the rain just stacked in there just see how it would work and I'm down to 79 degrees already and dropping still that's 96 degrees inside with both fans running yeah it's still dropping down to 97 or 79 excuse me Yes, yeah, jump between 79 and 80. Now I am out in the sun here. I do have a fairly sunny day, but I am 96 degrees inside. More insulating to do on the wall should uh, pick up the temperature a little bit more. Obviously, with 50% humidity in there, it is pulling moisture out of the wood. That's important. Uh, the warmer it is, the uh, more the cells open up to release the moisture in the cells of the wood. Obviously, this is a long process. Uh, it should take a month if you had, uh, uh, let's say, 100% uh, uh, moisture in the wood. 200% is the max. That's where it's dripping out the end, fresh cut. But uh, this is just wet wood that's been uh, out in the rain, so it shouldn't take too awful much to uh, lose the moisture. I now have yeah. steps for my solar kiln. So let's go inside and see how this is working. I do have fans on inside here and I do have the plastic up. I have uh, what I put in the other day which was basically uh, firewood. It was the end cuts of the log. I just laid them in here to see how things are going to lay out. I put the plastic in. I put a uh, one by two in to uh, staple the plastic to. I put black plastic in. Why? You should know better because I had it. And then down on the other end, the door end here, I have a piece of uh, a clear plastic that creates a air seal just so the air will flow through the stack. You get on the other side here. You can see I do have I took off the uh, drafting boards and I put clear plastic up. Number one, so I got light. Number two, it's uh, a little bit more airtight. It wasn't a long sheet, or wide sheet, I should say. It was long, it just wasn't wide. But you can see the black plastic is puffing in because it's trying to get through the little bit of uh, stack I have here. Basically, I have a sticker on the floor and then one sticker on top of that. And feeling down here, I'm definitely getting a flow of air through the bottom of the stack. So this is drying out my firewood. I haven't cut anything to put in it yet. I think that will be the next step, though. I, I pretty much have everything sealed, so... I think it's ready to start up and go, but I do want to cut up this into firewood, get it in the shed, let it dry a day or two in here, and while I get ready to 
cut my maple. 